I am the greatest warrior this world has. Led by the noble Yuan Shao, the anti-Dong Zhuo coalition succeeded in defeating Dong Zhuo's forces. They soon disperse, with each lord returning to his own lands. Dong Zhuo, who had fled to Shan'un, is soon killed by the betrayal of Lubu. As the chaos of the land peaks, each of the lords begins to make his move. The first to show their hands are Yuan Shao and Yuan Shu. The forces of the two become embroiled in a vicious battle with each other. The other lords soon take sides as the land is split into the two factions. However, though they had chosen sides in this battle, they still had their own desires and agendas. Each soon began to make plans to fulfill those desires. The Paishan are no match for us. Show them the way a nobleman's army fights! It is not in my nature to take orders from worthless peons. I will wreak havoc and show the world my might. I'll be here if you need me. Welcome, welcome. Do please come again. Hey, get on in here.
Take everything! Smash anyone who resists us! Ah! We're being attacked by the Mount Hay Bandits! Please save us! Our target has been determined. Capturing that area will deflate their morale. Thank you so much for your aid. This is a reward for you. Alright! Stop it already! I can't bear this any longer! Can anybody provide me with a decent challenge? Father, you never cease to amaze me! Such great strength! I'm pulling back for now. Incredible. I am truly impressed by your skill. You've saved our lives! Please, accept this token of gratitude. our belongings safe from those bandits. Thank you. Please, take this. Oh, you sure know how to fight. Nobody can stop me. All right, we've taken back the village. Push on to the enemy's main camp. We shall break through the enemy's gates! Send in the battering rams! So you've come. You won't make it through this gate. The Master Ji Ling deserves beneath Yuan Shu. Show me what you've got. I see. This means that the Paishan have Master Yuan Shu's backing. Our target has been determined. Capturing that area will deflate their morale. You bore me. Report! Intruders are getting closer to the camp! Our forces are in danger! What's that? It's not just the Paishan? I don't care who it is! Get rid of them! That monster Luvu killed my grandfather. Where is he? It'll go a lot easier if you just tell me the truth. We can seize their bases to gain the momentum! Everyone! Charge the enemy swiftly and without mercy! Broken through the gates and dealt with the enemy army. Now we simply need to make our way to the Paishan's main base. Nobody can stop me! Father, you never cease to amaze me. Capturing the enemy's bases is the key to defeating them. Let's go! The enemy! 
enemy fortress does not stand a chance against our might. You rabble! This is our territory! Time to prove that to you and Shao! Show me what you got! will now disband. They have tasted what it means to stand against a nobleman. Defeating them was no great achievement. Our true target is Yuan Shu. It is time to put him to the sword. Send in your troops and I will pulverize him. What foolishness is this that you speak? Just because you beat a few bandits, what gives you the right to tell me what to do? Our battle against Yuan Shu will be fought with honor and no deception. In order to do so, we will need time to prepare. We will return home for now. That is an order. Huh. Why are you wasting your time with unnecessary preparations? If you have me, you need nothing else. You just sit there and wait for me to report victory. Fall back, Lubu! Know your place. You are speaking to a nobleman. If you continue to talk at a turn in this manner, I will have no choice but to remove you from my forces. Why must I be surrounded by spineless cowards on all sides? I have no further use for you. Consider this my resignation. Father, what do you plan to do next? I will find a battle to fight. If Yuan Shu and Yuan Shao are too cowardly, then I suppose my next port of call will be Cao Cao. He had the guts to try and assassinate Dong Zhuo. I hope he will not disappoint me. Who are you? My name is Chen Gong. I am Cao Cao's strategist. But he has failed me. By failing to kill Dong Zhuo, I am afraid I have lost what hope I had in him. The kind of man whom I wish to serve is one who has the courage and the fortitude to go through with a plan. The kind of man who could kill Dong Zhuo. I wonder if you would consent to employ me as your strategist, Master Lubu. We are currently wandering warriors, with no home or troops to call our own. At present, I'm not sure we can offer the kind of opportunity you are looking for. Have no fear on that score. Cao Cao is currently away attacking Shu province, meaning Yang province is ripe for the picking. Now is your chance, I believe, to take Yang Province and make it your own, Master Lubu. Are you suggesting that we seize Yan Province while Cao Cao is away? Indeed. What Master Lubu needs most is some territory from which he can wage war. If he had that, he could start any battle he wanted. 
any battle at all. And what is it that you want? How does it benefit you to have me take Cao Cao's land? I want my name to be known across the land. If I can marry my intellect with your strength, my lord, that dream will surely come true. I wish to be known as the genius strategist serving the mighty warrior who rules over the land with an iron fist. That is how I should be. Hmm. Ruling over the land? If I crush all opposition to me, then I will rule. The land will be mine, and I will have proven that I am the mightiest of all time. Exactly! Precisely, my lord. Come, Master Lubu. Our path begins in Yan Province. Our path to the summit? Our path to total dominion! Very well. I will follow your suggestion. Come! We will seize Yan Province from Cao Cao, and create a land where no one will stand in my way. I have a certain friendship with Master Zhang Miao, who has been put in charge of the defenses here. Thanks to his efforts, the officers remaining here in Yang Province have all agreed to defect to our side. This has allowed us to seize Puyang without any unnecessary pain. I have also heard that Cao Cao's main unit has caught wind of this news and has cut short its battle in Shu Province to hurry back here. Hmm. Then I will simply have to smash them into oblivion. The key fortresses of Yang Province are Puyang and Ding Tao further to the south. If we can seize these two locations, then victory will be ours, I believe. In other words, we need to attack Ding Tao while defending Puyang at the same time. However, Cao Cao's forces outnumber us greatly. I'm not sure what chance we stand against them. Stop your worrying, Zhang Liao. I am on your side. Defeat is unthinkable. Come, we will pummel Cao Cao and send him scurrying from this land. Hmm. Cao Cao has panicked and come running back to Ding Tao. We will expel him from Yan Province for good. Something's going on down at the port. I'm going to see what it is. This land belongs to us. You're gonna regret ever setting foot on it. Treachery! I'll put a stop to you myself! <laughs> Out of my way, Vermin! The horn is mine! No one's using it without my permission. <laughs> Afford to lose this position. I shall personally see to its defense. Uh, show me what you got. Fine, you can have the force. But next time, things won't go like this. 
We free the port. Now we can attack all at once. Uh, show me what you've got. Nobody can stop me. Father, you never cease to amaze me. We need to take back this base. Now, what's the best tactic for this situation? Should we go now? Basis is not going to be easy. We need to focus our efforts and deal with the enemy one at a time. You'll have to defeat me if you want to pass through here. anything. I need you to come up with a more effective plan. Can anybody provide me with a decent challenge? Father, you never cease to amaze me. What? An ambush? Targeting the base? We walked right into it! Uh, show me what you've got! How could I let such cowards defeat me? Damn them all! It doesn't make any sense! Can anybody provide me with a decent challenge? You performed great as always! There was no need for my strategy! Reporting. Lord Meng Chung's attack unit has been wiped out on the front lines. Things aren't looking good. It's going to be tough to take back that position now. <laughs> that was nothing. I expected more of a challenge. Whoa. That 
some excellent fighting. Defensive lines are vital to our cause. I must insist upon turning away any uninvited guests. Master Cao Cao, I can handle this base myself. Please, go and deal with Lu Bu's army. Feared as a demon on the battlefield. My path to becoming a true warrior of the Three Kingdoms is clear. There is nowhere to run. Can anybody provide me with a decent challenge? Incredible. I am truly impressed by your skill. How could I lose to such an immoral opponent? I must have lost my focus. about we start them off with a nice shower of arrows. All right. I need everyone to defend this area. Let's go capture one of those unsightly positions. Follow me. Show me what you've got! To think that intellect could be overcome by such brute force, it pains me to do so. But I have no choice but to retreat. Can anybody provide me with a decent challenge? Truly impressive! I won't have any enemies left to defeat! Provide me with a decent challenge. Amazing! You sure know how to fight! We can seize their bases to gain the momentum! Everyone! Charge the enemy swiftly and without mercy! Lubu's forces are just too powerful. Attacking while I am away is just the type of thoughtless behavior I'd expect from an animal like you, Lubu. You will never have Yan Province! Oh, 
caught! Lu Bu's forces have broken through the defensive base. Wonder if everybody is okay. I'm starting to worry about them. Show me what you've got! Hmm. Truly pathetic, Cao Cao. Yan province belongs to me. Nobody can stop me! Magnificent! You were truly magnificent, Master Lubu. Now that we have claimed Ding Tao, Yang Province belongs firmly to us. Ha! This was nothing more than a warm-up. Where do we go next, Chen Gong? What land will we invade? Uh, I bring news! Hu Yang has fallen to Cao Cao's forces. As soon as our main unit headed towards Ding Tao, the enemy swooped in and seized it. No! Pu Yang? Pu Yang has been lost? Get a hold of yourself. If it has been taken, we will simply take it back. Come, Chen Gong! Wait! Please! Wait just a minute! If we leave Ding Tao now, the enemy will seize it instead! The whole battle will degenerate into a game of cat and mouse, and we will lose troops all the while. We are outnumbered, meaning that this is a recipe for defeat. I believe... Yes, I believe we must leave Yang Province for now. Ridiculous! I won! Why should I give that up just because Pu Yang has been lost? I understand your anger. However, we have just finished fighting a difficult battle. Our men are tired and have suffered injuries. Our path to conquest has only just begun. There are other territories besides Yan Province. I promise you, my lord. I promise you that I will find a way for you to seize a new land. Please, for now, we must retreat. Ugh! Cao Cao, you will pay dearly for what you have done here today. I swear one day I will destroy you and reclaim Yan Province. Chen Gong, prepare the next battle for me. My lord, leave it to me. The ruler of Shu province is Liu Bei, who was granted the territory by the previous ruler, Tao Qiang, due to the respect he had for his character. Famed for his virtue, he is sure to acquiesce to our request for sanctuary. While this may work in the short term, what do you have planned after that? Liu Bei is currently under attack from Yuan Shu. Are we to wage war against you and Shu as well? Huh. The idea of battle against that coward does nothing for me. I won't do it. Naturally, I have no intention whatsoever of fighting against you and Shu. No. Our true enemy will be. Welcome, everyone. 
I know you have come a long way to be here. I hear tell that the battle in Yan province was most savage. Please, take some time to rest your weary bodies here in Shu province. Master Liu Bei, we are most grateful. Most grateful indeed for your generosity. Once we have recovered, we will repay your kindness by joining forces with you to slay Cao Cao. We will discuss that matter at a later date. Right now, we are about to face Yuan Shu in battle. I will leave my sworn brother, Zhang Fei, here with you. If you need anything, please ask him. Chen Gong, are you really going to go through with this? But of course, our real enemy is not Yuan Shu, but Liu Bei. It's always been Liu Bei. He has managed to hold off an attack from Cao Cao with just a few men. His strength and that of his sworn brothers is not to be underestimated. I am sure that battle against him will be enough to satisfy even you, Master Lu Bu. Hmm. So your plan is the same as it was in Yan province. Take Shu province while Liu Bei is away, and use this land as a foothold in our quest for dominion over the land. Is that it? That is it? That is it in a nutshell. With my intellect and your strength, Master Lu Bu, taking Shu province ought to be no problem at all. If we were to be accused of thievery, we would scarcely argue. But if this is what you want, father, then I will fight against anyone you choose. Be ready for battle at any moment. To create a land of my own, and for the first step on my path to total rule, we will take Shu province. Zhang Fei has been left in charge here, and seems awfully bored. So I have decided to send him a little gift, his favorite, wine. I would imagine that right about now, he is well and truly drunk. Hmm. Why do you insist on using such trickery? Do you wish me to fight against a pathetic drunkard? My lord, you must have a little patience. The true battle lies further ahead. Once we have Shu province in our grasp, you may fight against anyone you choose. Cao Cao, Liu Bei, the choice will be yours. If we just wander without a home, constantly relying on the hospitality of others, the men will lose morale. Master Lu Bu, I believe our first course of action should be to secure a foothold of our own. I will fight with all I have to ensure that Shu province comes under your control, father. Very well. Let's do this. We will pummel that drunker Zhang Fei and claim Shu province for ourselves. I will take Sha Pi while Liu Bei is... Make Shu Province my own territory. Shoppy is man. for your order. I'm afraid we don't carry that much wine, however.
That's not nearly enough wine. Let's get some more. From Xiaopei. The wine is ready. Come on, let's get it to Xiaopi. Things are proceeding very nicely, very nicely indeed. This ought to ensure that every last soldier in the castle is dead drunk. That? A castle siege will not be easy. I'm not sure whether we've made enough preparations to undertake such an endeavor. It's time to lay siege to Shopee Castle. Everyone, follow me! I knew it. Nobody can stand against the might of Master Lubu. Traitor! Lubu! 
Come back and face me like a man! What do you want, drunkard? Very well. I will erase you for good this time. thinking of snatching Shopee while brother is away. Uh, that makes me very angry. First of all, you betrayed brother who took you in when you needed help. And next, what's even worse, if you think you can emerge victorious in a fight against the mighty Zheng Fei? You let drinking make you you imbecile. Where did you call me? Uh, Lord Chung Fei, uh, we have to pull back! Don't mess with me! I can still fight you, bastard! Damn you! With this, Shu Province is ours, ours at last! Master Lubu, you finally have a land of your own! And we have somewhere we can call our home. Congratulations, Father. Utterly pathetic. How can I be satisfied when all I did was beat one old drunk? Chen Gong, prepare my next battle. We must not hurry things, my lord. That would never do. If we are to rule the entire land, then we must first make sure that our home territory will never be taken from us. It was not your lack of might that thwarted our attack on Yan province, but the lack of our military might as a whole. It is just as Master Chen Gong says. We should look to build up our military strength here before we proceed any further. Hmm. Do as you wish, but I will not wait long. We have claimed Shu province, but what's next? Who am I to fight next? Naturally, my lord, our next opponent will be Cao Cao. Cao Cao attacked Shu province once before in the name of avenging his father. But the fact of the matter was that, that was just an excuse. He simply wanted this land for himself. Cao Cao will try and take this land from us sooner or later. I guarantee it. Cao Cao. I understand he has the Emperor under his control. His is the fastest rising star in all the land. I am also concerned about the young Sun Tzu, who has taken over for his father, Sun Jian. He quickly overran Jiang Dong, and is now being referred to as the Little Conqueror. I think he would be a good choice for you to test your might against. Hmm. We owe Cao Cao for what happened in Yan Province. He will be crushed beyond all recognition. And as for Sun Tzu, calling himself the Little Conqueror, I will show him who's boss. With my intellect and the strength of so many mighty warriors, defeat is unthinkable. Come, 
Come, let us ascend to the staircase to the ultimate dominion over this land. <laughs> 